A very powerful page to have on your site is a FAQ page, however, this page is often overlooked by website designers simply because it's not a very easy page to create, and you really do need the content from the client to create this page. But we have added the FAQ page for our clients as this is really the best area where you can provide answers to potential clients' questions before they even contact you. So, if they go to your website and see a FAQ page, they will normally go and see exactly what other clients have already asked. Once you open the page, you can once again add or edit the FAQ page or disable the FAQ page. So we select the first option to add or edit the FAQ page. Now we need to select how many FAQs we need to add, and you may add more later as your site or business grows. Remember that if you have added FAQs before, you will need to add them into the total amount, so again, if you have added 5 before, but want to add 3 more, then please select 8. We then add the header text as usual, and upload the compulsory header image. You may select up to 10 FAQs on this page, and much like all your other specialized pages, you've got the option of adding up to 8,000 words in your introduction area. Your FAQs page needs a minimum of 3 FAQs to create this page, so please come prepared with a minimum of 3 questions and answers. Upload your questions into the question area, and then give a detailed answer to that question in the answer area. You are limited to how many characters you may add to the questions and answer boxes. The questions are more restricted as the questions should not be more than one line, and the number of characters for the answer boxes are restricted to 1,400 characters. You also don't want to bore the people with your question and answers, so try and keep it brief, but detailed enough to add value. Once you've added all your FAQs, you can then click on the Add slash Update FAQs button. If you no longer want the FAQs page, simply come back to this form, click on the Disabled FAQs page from the first drop-down selection, and click on the Disabled FAQs button at the bottom of the form. In our next tutorial, we will show you how to manage and add additional galleries and gallery categories.